Hello from Cookbook Divas, this is Carrie, and one of the things I love about exploring international cookbooks is I get a geography lesson too. Andalusia is part of Spain. Jose Bizarro is the author. Recipes from Seville and beyond. I would have called it Sevilla? I don't know. This came out in 2016-ish. Hardy Grant is the publisher. I've really been looking forward to looking through this, and I know that Spanish and Andalusian food is not all tapas, but I love tapas. Okay, contents. Very simple chapters here. Chapter one, meat. Chapter two, fish. Chapter three, vegetables. That's the chapter I will be the most interested in as a vegetarian. And then the dessert chapter. Then they will share some Andalusian dinner menus, places to eat in case we can travel again after the pandemic is over. Introduction. I'm assuming that's a family member. We're going to see some pictures of the ancient city. And we're jumping right into the meat chapter. Okay. Eating happy, healthy, free-range animals is of paramount importance in Andalusia. In this region, you can find Tejesas, woodlands where Iberico pigs eat acorns that have fallen from the trees and roam freely for many kilometers every day. The charcuterie and meat, Jamón Iberico, is renowned for its high-quality fat. Okay, slow-cooked oxtail is the first recipe here. Here's oxtail croquetas. Is a beautiful scenic photo. Now we have pollo empaneo and tomato salad. I thought it was going to say empanada, but it did not. Here's slow cooked pork cheeks with oloroso sherry. So this is not a beginner cookbook. Here's a picture of the market and meat hanging and a street. Here's something called flamenquin with mustard, mayo, and chips. Not sure what that is. Lomo and manteca. Here's a plato de los montes. Eggs, potatoes, I'm not sure what, what all is in there. Uh, venison filet with wild mushrooms and chestnuts. Forged, I'm assuming. Here's Jose's mom's pork ribs. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead to the fish chapter. Although I do want to show you the Moorish wild boar stew. That's not something you see in just any cookbook. I'm skipping past the... Oh, here's fried rabbit. You also don't see that in just any cookbook. Okay. Trying to get to fish. Here it is. Fish. Okay. Andalusia has been influenced by many cultures. And thanks to this, there are a lot of different ways in which prepare people prepare fish here. One of the most delicious is salazon, or salt fish, introduced by the Phoenicians. Originally, this was a traded commodity as well as a way to preserve the catch. Yes. So here is sopa bouillabaisa del, del Almeria. Almeria. Basically, bouillabaisa soup. Here's fried anchovies with aioli. Some tourism pictures. Something called espeto. Here's fideos con caballa. My Mexican stepmother makes us fideos, but they look different than this. And she's not Spanish. Tuna with onions and tomatoes. Papas con choco. Mm. Here is clams with chorizo. I'm going to skip ahead a little here. Ooh, I want to show you this. Snails with chili, tomato, and garlic. Not something you see in just any old cookbook. <laughs> Here's... Oh, are we in vegetables? Nope, there's an octopus. We're not in vegetables yet. Monkfish skewers with lentils. Um, okay. Oh, I think we're in vegetables because I see beetroot and pomegranate. Yes, vegetables. Okay, I see a salad. <laughs> Let's check it out. Um, Beetroot, blood orange, pomegranate, and goat cheese salad with membrillo dressing. Aubergines with chestnut honey, otherwise known as eggplant. That looks amazing. Something called pipirana. I see eggs and tomatoes, hard-boiled eggs. And cucumbers may be yum. Huevos a la flamenca. Now that looks like shakshuka to me, but it's from Spain, not from Africa. Okay. Ajillo with roasted leeks and grapes. Oh, that's an interesting combination. Here is asparagus tortilla. Yum. Warm carrot and fennel salad. That's great for autumn. Oh. Suddenly I'm seeing fish again. What, what just happened? Cheese stuffed fried olives. Ah, yum. That's the first thing I would make out of this book. 
Uh, I'm freaking out because we're in the vegetable section, but here's calamaris del campo. That is, should be in the fish chapter. Chickpea and spinach stew. Ooh, that would be great in winter, especially on a snowy day. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm going through some tourist photos. Beautiful. Ooh, the desserts chapter. I know you were looking forward to this. How about walnut, sherry, and honey semifredo? Maybe in summertime. Here is apricot sorbet with something de Sevilla. I'm not sure how to say that. Here's Jeannie's marmalade souffle puddings with candied oranges. And here's some. Something called ganotes? Ganotes? Don't know. Here's tortas de aceite. Help, sorry for the pronunciation. Lola's pan de calatrava. Looks like a sugar crust. Pumpkin and chestnut fritters. Okay, who doesn't like fritters? Because they're fried and they have sugar. Honey pastries with baked figs. Find a couple more examples here. Oh, Whoa, what's this? Mantecadas? Is it little cookies or little cakes? I'm not sure. Oh, here's the drink chapter, I think. Barbary fig margarita. Now I'm thirsty for tequila. Why did I look at this? Okay, pictures, pictures. Wow. There is so much food in this cookbook that I want to cook and eat. That was Jose Pizarro's Andalusia. I highly recommend it. That's an amazing cookbook. I'm so glad you could look through it with me. You can see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews at cookbookdivas.com website. We have a blog. We have a podcast. We post to Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and occasionally to Pinterest. Thanks for coming along this journey with us.